Good morning, everybody. Today's the big day. It's embryo transfer day. Transfer day. This is the day we've been working up towards for years now. There's two. Uh, we're only gonna use one today, but uh, hopefully it takes. We might be a mommy and a daddy as of today. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We're at our fertility clinic right now. There's the familiar building behind us. I get to go up this time. They're letting me in the room. You ready? We better hurry. I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah, she's she's been instructed to go in with a full bladder for whatever reason. That's what they need her to do. And a full bladder for me means half a bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Very, very subtle. Yeah. Okay. I saw it, yeah. Cool. It's uh, it's kind of like um because of how it's tilted like this. Yeah. But it's fine, we're seeing it there. Perfect. Debbie is checking under the microscope to make sure baby went in. Okay. Sometimes if they are girls, they stay hey. inside the cat. It's because we're stubborn. It's a stubborn boy. <laughs> it's a stubborn boy. <laughs> Well, kind of. <laughs> We're just waiting for confirmation on it, but it's all done. We take the test on my birthday. They allowed us to film the moment of the transfer on the uh, the ultrasound. It's hard to see anything. It's but just a little blip. A little blip, but it's it's the moment of the transfer when the embryo was in, was uh, implanted. Implanted. I'm so happy right now. Feel like a mom? I do. I've always felt like a mom. Yeah, you're a natural mom. She's gonna make a great mom. I can't wait. So now we, we play the waiting game. Uh, we find out uh, officially on her birthday. On my 33rd birthday, July 25th is when I take my blood test. You're only 33? You're yeah. young. Yeah, I'm just a young cradle robber over here, 34. Man, I'm like pushing 35 already. <laughs> Yikes, I got a young one here. <laughs> Yeah, right. we gotta go get some more drugs from our from our drug dealers. Some PIOs. Yeah, for those pharmacy. of you who don't know what it is, just wait. PIO. PIO. What is a PIO? You've been saying that all day. I have no idea what. Progesterone in oil. You get to shoot me in the butt with a really big needle. That's right. There's more needles coming. <sighs> Every third day. Every third day. And okay, well we'll go pick that up. And uh, yeah, now it's just pretty much a waiting game.
We're in Little Italy in Winnipeg on Corridan Avenue and we're going to Saffron's restaurant to celebrate. Never tried it before, but I've heard good things. I've never tried it either. Corridan's a very popular, uh, popular place to lots of restaurants. Like I said, Little Italy, so there's tons of gelato shops and yeah. It's a very congested area of the city, but... Uh, a lot it's... of shopping, a lot of restaurants. It's kind of like a little bit of a hot spot, like a hangout. Yeah. Yeah. Very busy. Lots of traffic. Gotta make sure you don't get run over. <laughs> Old Blue's a little dirty, and while she's in the shop here, I figure I uh, should do something about these tanks. That's disgusting. It's not your fault, Old Blue. It's not your fault. You're beautiful, all right? You gotta do something about that. Let's start on the other side. That's more like it. Keep it shining, right? I don't have much time tonight, but I'll finish the rest tomorrow. Gotta do the steps and the rims yet, but at least we got something done. I didn't have much time. Uh, Britt had to work tonight, and we're also kind of planning a little bit of a vacation. And I had to get started on that today, because tomorrow Britt has to go in and uh, uh, get a bunch of paperwork done so we can travel and stuff and it looks Right now like we're gonna be going to Florida Okay, but nothing's for sure yet. So you just, just hold on hold your horses. We're gonna see what happens But it looks like we're going to Florida in September. Uh, we just got to get a few ducks in a row And that's what we're doing now. So she's gonna be off work right away now. She went to work She we did the transfer this morning and then she went to work this evening. This this woman is just a tank. There's no stopping her. Toughest woman I know. I'll be with you tomorrow, Old Blue, okay? I got you a little cleaned up there. We're gonna do, we're gonna continue tomorrow. That already looks nice already. At least the tank is shiny. All right, time to go back home. Fritz done work. I wanna be home before she is. Oh, she's probably home already. I'm never home before she is. When I go to the shop, it's very hard to tear myself away from the shop. <sighs> I could literally live in here if I was allowed to. Oh, I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Except I have a wife and dogs and family and a kid on the way. So I gotta go home. Good morning, everyone, from the backyard. It's Friday today. I have a few errands to be completed today. Uh, Brett has to get some paperwork into Winnipeg and I have a flat tire to fix on my truck. Dr. Josh on duty. So I had to give my wife a needle this morning in her butt. Uh, this is uh, progesterone in oil. We just had our IVF transfer yesterday and every three days now until the doctors tell us we don't need to anymore uh, we need to give her a needle in her butt trucker turned doctor right here you need a needle i'm your man this is what uh was injected progesterone and it's in uh, sesame oil so it's very thick it's very thick and it was actually physically hard to push the syringe and get the liquid into her body through the needle. It's really thick. But uh, that's one of the things we're doing now. That's, that's, we're now doctors. Not quite, not quite, but learned a lot through this whole process and uh, I can give needles now. Who knew? Just broadening my resume. So I have to, uh, or me or her when I'm not here she can do it herself too but uh, she's got to uh, inject one milliliter per day uh, every three days every three days uh, do I get a needle too I don't think your vaccines are due for a while man you're all up to date on all your shots it's me again future Josh putting this video together for you right now just putting the finishing clip in here which is this so this brought us right up to the moment, the, or not the moment, but the last clip before we realized that uh, the account had been compromised. 
we were at home now. We went into the city. We had to get some passport details worked out uh, for Brits so that we can, you know, hopefully go on our vacation, which is all on hold right now. We don't know uh, if we'll be going or not. Really hoping to, uh, but uh, this is supposed to be kind of like a celebration. We're hoping to be able to celebrate uh, pregnancy. Uh, if not, then just to get away for a little while and decompress. Maybe we need that more than ever now. Who knows? That's why that vlog sort of just ended right there. But we're back to normal right now. Uh, Old Blue is in the service shop right now getting serviced. We got the tire patched and fixed. We're all ready to go. She's going to get a bath so she'll be nice and clean when I get her, get her back. And then we'll be headed off into Saskatchewan and vlogs should be continuing as normal. You can always get a hold of me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. If you do see any suspicious activity, I'm pretty sure everything is resolved right now. But I appreciate those of you who reached out to me and brought it to my attention. I have a lot of uh, notifications in place now that I should know immediately if uh, someone's sniffing around that shouldn't be. But... Other than that, thanks for all your help, everybody. There's a couple of you uh, who helped me out a lot. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.